Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. This week I am showcasing the By My Side stamp set from our 2022 to 2023 annual Stampin' Up! catalog. Um, but I am turning them into back to school projects. It's back to school time and we all could use some back to school treats and gifts for those wonderful teachers. So I'm using this cute little girl right here um, for a card. And actually I'm using a celebration stamp set as well called Amazing Phrasing, and we're gonna use the hey, and then the you've got this, which I thought was really cute. Um, celebration goes to the end of August uh, 2022, so you have until the end of August to get this free with $100. Um, also, I'm showcasing two other things that you could get. This is the Spots and Dots, or the Dots and Spots die, free with $100. Um, and then the gingham embossing folder that is free with a $50 purchase. Um, if you don't get these by the end of August, they are also available in the annual catalog for purchase anytime. But you can get them free this month. All right, let's start by coloring our cute little girl. I am going to use thick, basic white cardstock. And I'm going to stamp her in memento black. Now we have these awesome... Uh, natural skin tone stampin blends um they're great to have they come in a set here they all are right here um you really have so many choices um i don't remember what i used i think i used maybe this maybe 300 i don't know but we'll do something different this time just to change it up and i'm also using real red for her dress um let's do um let's do this one right here 600 and we'll start with her skin and i'm gonna go a little bit li uh, lighter at the top because she's facing up the sun or the light would be up towards the top so i'm gonna layer on a lot of color down towards the bottom and then just flick up some color up there again add some more color going down and then just a little more up here towards the top. You can also take your color lifter and remove some of that color up there at the top just lightly so that it'll be a little bit lighter. All right. Let's add a little bit more shadow down here. There we go. Now for her hair, let's do a dark color. This is 200 and we'll color those cute little curls. Now you can color her to represent your child, or your grandchild or whoever, your teacher, whoever you're gonna give this card to. Um, you can color this, you know, to represent their hair and their skin tone. The thing about these natural tone Stampin' Blends is that you have a huge selection and you can even blend colors together to create a, you know, a custom color even. So the sky is the limit. All right, I forgot to do her legs. So let's come back with that 600 and do her arms and her legs. Now I'm gonna take my light, real red and color her dress and we'll add some shadow now she's got a butterfly on her nose and I'm not gonna color that butterfly because we're gonna fussy cut her with scissors and that butterfly, you could totally do it. But instead of that, I'm just gonna add a brass butterfly to mine. And I noticed that my brass butterfly fell off. It's not even on here right now. So that may be a surprise. I don't think it's in the photograph that I took either. Okay, so now we're gonna cut all the way all this excess cardstock. Usually when we fussy cut, I tell you to leave a white border around your image. Um, that helps you, um, helps kind of cover up your, your cutting. If there's any kind of jiggity, jig jaggedy cuts, you won't see it. But as you can see, we're gonna mount her on a darker surface. So this time I'm gonna cut right on that black line. I'm just gonna go really, really slow. I'm using my paper snips. These are Stampin' Up's scissors. They are perfect for this because they're very sharp and they're very small, so they can get in to all of those nooks and crannies. I just recommend you go really slow 
and take your time. If you stay right on that black line, there shouldn't be any white showing. Also keep that image in the middle part of your blades. That's where the best cutting is done. And she has a few little curls, little hairs that are sticking out, and I'm just going to cut those off. You also want to cut off that excess cardstock as you go, because that can get in your way as you're trying to get into these, these, little, these little spots here. Now be really careful around her legs because they're very small and they're probably going to be easy to cut off if you're not paying attention to what you're doing. All right, we're almost back to where we started. Now I'm going to come over here and cut a little bit more off the back of her leg. There we go. All right, there she is. All right, now let's put together the other pieces of our project. We've got a little bit of die cutting to do, but before we do that, we're gonna do some heat embossing. I have cut out a basic black stitched rectangle, and it looks like I've already gotten some white ink on it, but you know what, that's okay, because we want this to look like a chalkboard anyway, so we're gonna add some white. The first thing I'm gonna do is kind of pat my um, embossing buddy here and that even leaves kind of a chalky look too on your basic black all right so then I'm gonna take the hay from that um, amazing phrasing stamp set I'm gonna get it white I'm using the edges of my ink pad because I think we're getting kind of low in ink I gotta look and see all right we'll put this right here in the corner and then we're going to bring over our um, little accessory tray and put a little bit of white embossing powder on there. Perfect. And you can use that brush to kind of wipe away any of those extra flakes. All right, now get your heat tool. And you're gonna hit it for about 30 seconds until you see your white turn shiny. I love the chalkboard look. And it's really easy to do with black cardstock and white ink. All right, now, Let's close that up and I'm going to grab a dauber. This is a sponge dauber. I'm going to get a little bit of ink on that and I'm just going to add some ink to the edges to kind of look like chalk smeared on the edge. We'll put a lot there hopefully to cover up that little spot. And you can kind of do a little bit, you know, over like that. And that's going to really give it a chalkboard feel. Okay, now let's take some dimensionals and I have a vellum circle that I'm going to put her on, just a two inch vellum circle and we'll put the dimensionals behind her so you can't see them and we'll put her on our little chalkboard like that. Okay, so now we've got some other pieces to um, take care of. I'm going to move all of this out of the way and bring over our cut and emboss machine. And the first thing we're going to do is that dots and spots die on a piece of um, Daffodil Delight. It's going to look like cheese because it's yellow, but that's okay. It's still really cute. Once we put it on the card, it won't look like cheese. You need this. If you have a mouse stamp, you definitely need this die. All right, now take off your plates 
and all you need to have is plate one. And we're gonna put this Knight of Navy piece here in our gingham embossing folder. And this time you need plate four. So just one and four and nope, that's not right. I forgot plate two. Let's put that on there and run that through. Each, each folder is different. Sometimes you need the, pl the plate two and sometimes you don't. So play around. If yours doesn't fit, if it's too tight, don't force it. If it, oh, you know, we have something else we need to do. If it um, feels like it's going through too easy, then add a shim, one of your plates. Um, or you can also just read the directions. It's also on your base. <laughs> All right, so now we've got that gingham. We've got the spots and dots. Now we're gonna use this die that I have over here called, it's from the uh, Blossom Abounds or Happiness Abounds dies, and we're gonna cut the edge off of this piece, making it look like it's been ripped from a spiral notebook. So put that right there, and lay this down carefully. Run that through, and now we've got a little piece of notebook paper. All right, we're gonna add the second part of our sentiment on the bottom, and then we're ready to put it all together. You've got this. I used to be a teacher, so I can tell you that teachers are nervous too, just like kids. They are nervous that first day of school, so this would be a great teacher card. All right, we've got a real red card base. And we're gonna take that piece of gingham Knight of Navy, and I'm just gonna kind of put it crooked like that. All right, so then that means you're gonna need to take your scissors on the back and trim it so that it fits. It, if, it, if you don't trim it, then that won't fit on in the envelope. All right, now for our little Swiss cheese piece, just a couple of dots, a few dots of Tombow. And we'll put that kind of angled the other way. And then we'll grab our dimensionals again. And we're gonna put those on the back of this notebook piece. And we'll put that kind of straight like that. And we'll put Dimensionals down this way. And stick her right there. Now don't forget your little butterfly. I'm gonna put that butterfly right there like it's on her nose. And last but not least, I'm gonna use some Starry Sky Baker's Twine. And we're gonna tie a bow at the top. Now make sure you click the link here on YouTube, hop over to my blog. I've got a free PDF for you that has a supply list and measurements and two other projects featuring the By My Side stamp set. So you'll have lots of ideas. And there we go. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this project. Um, please hop over, visit my blog, and leave me a comment, and I hope you'll give this card a try yourself. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.